Hello and welcome back for another episode of Game of the Kohoth. We're going to jump right into a premiere draft here for Strixhaven Draft. Uh, we're going to enter with one of our fancy new tokens that we got from the challenges. See you out getting um, some wins. Let's see if we can continue to push toward Mythic. I don't know if we'll make it by the season's end, but we're going to try. I've been playing a lot of Standard recently as well. Um, started playing an Is It Tempo deck, Prismari Tempo, I guess. I don't know. It's really fun. I've been doing really well with it. I'm almost platinum. Yesterday, I basically played uh, traditional Standard and made it all the way through gold. So it's pretty, pretty fantastic. Um, we start off here with a Blade Historian or an Electrolyze. Electrolyze is really good. Blade Historian wins an insane amount of games. Um, absolutely incredible. So, other cards I would want, I think, are Combat Professor. I really want cheap creatures, like one and two minute creatures to go play this one. I want as many creatures as possible on the battlefield. So when I play it, I can continue to really run through. Heated Debate here makes a lot of sense as a follow-up. Fantastic removal spell. Um, I would take Blade Age General in this deck, I think. Um, also play Expel. Claim the Forceborn is whatever. I, I think I would still take it in this deck because it really works with Blade Historian. Um, Bookworm is also really good, but I don't think we're going to be running any green in this deck. We want to be low to the ground and aggressive as possible. Um, yeah. So hopefully get Blood Age General or Expel back. I'd actually like Expel a little bit more, but we'll see what comes back on the wheel. Quintorius and Twin Scroll. Um, hmm. I think I want Twin Scroll here. I think that's the best choice. Um, Quintorius is interesting. It's just never worked for me. Five and a two four. Um, hopefully we're winning on turn four with Blade Historian. I mean that's ideal. I don't think it's actually very likely based on what we see. Um, Field Trip's a fine card. Mage Jewel's a really good card. Um, Lash Malice is also a really good card, as well as an Annihilation. So three decent removal spells here. I wonder if this is a wrong choice. It really could be. So I could run Naya, or I could run Mardu. I'm going to take the Lash here. Twin Scroll Shaman will wheel. It always does. So we'll hedge on Lash and Alice here, because it's that good of a card. Immediately feel a little bit frustrated with ourselves, because there's a second Mage Duel. Um, Lore Mage is not what I want. Historian is pretty fine. Huh. <laughs> Historian will wheel. We're going to take Mage Duel. It will not wheel if we let it pass. And I want to continue to stay open to see what is passed our way. 2 and a 2-2. Two, two. When it attacks, you can rummage. Um, it's not the best, but we're going to take it here. I'll take the rare over the two commons. I haven't played with it, so it seems okay. Again, I, I do want to be pretty aggressive, so I, I want I want our curve to be pretty steep, starting at one, dropping down to four. Would I play many five drops in this deck? I'm not sure. It's not impossible. Like here, I will take Lumancer. I think that's the best card for us. Um, I'd be happy with Pilgrim. I'd be ha I'd be happy with any of these cards. Relic Sloth would be the one I'm least excited about based on what we currently have, but Lumancer seems really good. Hopefully we can continue to pull up some decent uh, spells. I think. I'm not sure about Lash and Mage. It might not happen. 
but I'd like to get some more heated debates. I'd like to get some more pump spells. Just kind of see what we can put together here. Sethman, competition in me. Shadow Spawn, Big Loda, Lover, Vunder, Juomaru. All right, Campus Shaman, Thrill. Four mana two two gets one zero for each artifact. So you just keep getting stronger. I don't think I've ever played with this card. Huh. Let's take Thrill. I think Thrill is best for us in this deck. Pledge Mage looks really good here. Wow, look at this. Blood Researcher and Pest Summoning coming back around. That's bizarre. Dragon's Approach, Mentor, Professor is a great pickup for us. Um, Blood Age or Claim? I think we take Claim. Shaman? Seems great. Take Summoning for the board. Um, hmm. I'll take Shield Mage for the board. It's a really good sideboard card for what we're trying to do. Summoning for the board. We don't have any learn. We are learnless. We do have two lessons that we can play though, which is nice. The lessons in this deck seem really strong. Um, Vanishing Verse, I don't think we're really caring about that at the moment. Excavation. Um, Reflective Golem seems really strong in our deck, or what we want our deck to be anyway. Expanded Anatomy would be a top pickup as well. Fletcher Golem's fine. I mean, Vanishing Verse, Buried in Books are both solidly better cards. Span Anatomy is going to work really well with everything we want to do. Maybe I should take the Anatomy over Golem. No, we're still going to take Golem. I think it enables the most. But we do feel kind of bad for passing Anatomy. Front of the Pass, Symbology seems really good for us. Um, if not Symbology, maybe Claim again, get double claim the first one, it'd be fine. But Symbology is 100% what we want here. With our Inkling Summoning and our Spirit Summoning, I think that'd be perfect. I'll take it. I don't know if the opponent's waiting to pass it to me because I was holding on to the pack or not. Hmm. Revitalize. Rip apart seems really good for us. I would still like a Lorehold Pledge Mage. We didn't get one last pack. Rip apart three man three damage to a creature or destroy artifact or enchantment. That's that's the pickup for us. Pretty content with that. Currently our three is the highest. Again, we're gonna go ahead and oh we did have we did end up getting a pledge mage. Um get another one here, Extus. It's an expensive card, but it does it does the trick. I'd like that it learns as well. I think I'll take Extus over Pledge Mage. I think it it's going to be a better draw most most of the time. Um, but I wouldn't mind getting more pledge mages, that's for sure. Okay. Um, two mana, one, three. Okay. I don't think we have much care about ETBs currently. Professor. It, it does shut off Professor, but... Otherwise, I think it helps us. Star Pupil will be fine too. 
Semester's End, four minute instant, exile any number of target creatures and planeswalkers you control. Gain next instant, return each of the battlefield enters under control. Each enters with additional moral counter. Um, show of confidence seems like the choice here. Uh, I like Expel here, so we have a little bit more removal. Interesting. Second Pledge Mage or Second Extus? I think we go with the removal spell. Stonebound. Probably gonna play them. I'm gonna rare draft the Vanishing Verse. We might we might splash it, who knows? Um Speaking of might splash, we'll take the campus just in case. Pledge Mage revitalize. Um Pledge Mage. I do need a way to dig through my deck so I can get the Blade Historian. Because I'm just hoping to top deck it. I think we're gonna be in some trouble. But we, we are looking very aggressive here. But our curve is definitely on three. I would like it to be more on two. Reflective Golem's nice. Ooh, perfect. A show of confidence can trigger Reflective Golem, which would be really strong. Um, is that the only thing that we really have that's going to target it? I think so. So, Reflective Golem's not looking great in our deck at the moment. It'll be our first cut, probably. We're 12 and 8 currently, creature, non creature. Sideboard, we still have our two lessons. Um, Star Pupil seems great again. Continue to drop our drop our curve. Probably not gonna play three twin scroll shaman to be completely honest, especially if we're not getting things that are gonna boost its uh, power. Uh, we've played with Nasari, and it's busted. So many busted cards here. We're not going to get any of them back. Maybe we'll get Study Break back. Wow. But yeah, we're going to take the five drop here. Sparring Regimen is also incredibly busted. Happy to pick that up. Uh -huh. Reflective Golem is out. Holy crap. What else would we want to see? Eager first years would be fine in our deck. Study breaks, of course, would be good. Um, Pledge Mage would even be fine. We're, we're running enough spells, I think, that they would be pretty strong. And making a 3-1 double strike is hefty. Um, Rip Apart also would be great to come back around. Our deck looks really sweet. We'll see if we can make it work. We might only run 16 lands. We... We're continuing to cut back. 2.7 is our average CMC. It's risky, but it might be worth it. Well, we just increased it, didn't we? Adding another three drop. What do we have? The artist, the pigment storm, the pupil, the sunrise. Um. <laughs> I think we want the the damage spell here. People might come back around anyway, so let's take Pigment Storm. It's best card in the pack. I think here we want Spirit Summoning. Um, do we or do we want Stone Rise Spirit? Mm. How many? We have two. Three, yeah, let's go ahead and take this for now. Maybe we'll get another lesson in a moment. Certainly lessons. Um, reduced memory is a great pickup for us as a removal spell. Um, 
in the sideboard. Combat Professor is also really good, but I think having the sideboard removal is really helpful. Span of Anatomy is really good in our deck as well. Um, God's Willing, Environmental Sciences, Pledge Mage. Ooh. I'll take a God's Willing. Defiant Strike, Study Break. Wow, 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 wow. Um, ooh, an Excess Tunnel as well. We're going to study break here. Um, we'll do it again. We will take the eager first year on this one. The learn here might be really, really key. I mean, I, I like this deck a lot. We'll see how it ends up playing. Star Pupil seems fine. Not excited about the Twin Squirrel Shamans. Um, well, I'm a little bit more excited about them with this card. Yeah, I think that spell's worth taking over the rare draft. River card didn't come back, um, interestingly enough. Hmm. I don't know that we'll play that. Go ahead and take it. I'm not sure we're going to play what we currently have. Rare Draft, that's fine. Hmm. <sighs> Messy. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four castable lessons. Lumamancer just gets better with all the spells we have. We're 14 and 14 currently. I think Claim the Firstborn isn't the best in our deck. Um, hmm. Sun Breakthrough I don't think is as good either. Remember, this is a five drop for us. It's not a four drop. Let's cut back to one Exodus. Is that okay? One, two, three, four. Four learn cards. One, two, three. Four. I think that's okay. So we can get we can get everything out of our sideboard with what we have in our deck. Um oh we're a little shy still. I don't really want to run this with 15 lands. I want 16. So what's the card that we pull? Maybe drop one star people and then add a planes, I think. Let me double check that, make sure that that's right. It looks right. Okay. Yes, I think that that is correct. So we're running the campus here for a scry capacity because being able to scry will really help us quite a bit in our game. But um, 
this is our deck. We're going to be try to be as aggressive as possible and see if we can get a W with it. So um, let's go ahead and submit that, and we'll jump into game one. Okay. Yeah, I'm hoping that this deck has what it takes to to get there. Um, we want to be aggressive. We want to win before opponents can really set up much. Our removal, unfortunately, is on the high side, but our creature's on the low side. So um, if opponent does stabilize, hopefully we can get the mana necessary to destabilize them and continue to bash in. We're kind of dependent on... Pretty darn dependent on our our four mana blade historian, so that that might hurt us quite a bit. We don't have a lot of flying, um, so we're not we're not really bashing it in the air. Our evasion is pretty weak. <clears throat> and this looks really good though. Um, pretty happy with that. We'll lead on Professor Symbology, I think, versus your first year. Um, opponent Mulligan, Dark Fu. Good luck and have fun, my friend. See if we can make any progress toward um, toward diamond here. Um, <laughs> let's go with the flyer. I think we'll we'll be most benefited there. Okay, we will go ahead and get in here for two. Play Pledge Mage. Alright, we're starting to look pretty good here. I'm liking what we're seeing. Need some uh, red sources though. We're a little light on red sources. Leech Fanatic for the opponent, sure. Um, hmm. What to do, what to do, what to do. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's see if the opponent wants to block. That's fine. Okay, great. We will put the eager first year out. We'll end our turn. See what the opponent does here. We'll do our best to study break them. Wonderful. Hmm. Yep. Go ahead and tap them down. Um, yeah, we'll take Expand Anatomy. I think that'll be good for us here. So they did gain three life there, which is unfortunate. Um, five mana. I think we're going to go ahead and put it here. Get in for seven. Mention there's Onslaught maybe coming on the Pledge Mage here. Zomancy, okay. Come on, Red Spell. Red Spell. Red Source. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you. Um, you are Sorcery Speed. Yeah. We will go ahead and kill that off. And we'll attack him for seven again. They'll probably trade for symbology, I'd imagine. Oh, they didn't. Interesting. Sure. Pass on me. Yep. Yep.
Um, hmm. Yeah, I think we want to continue bashing here. They're going to double block. Yep, there you go. You have your two life. You are instant speed, so we're going to... Hmm. We'll summon in here. That's maybe a little awkward. But having two in the air is really beneficial to us here. Mm -hmm. No need to block that. Golden ratio, okay. They're getting their lands. Overgrown arch. Yep. We're going to go ahead and swing with everything here. Okay. Opponent gains a life, they take three. I don't particularly want to use Expel here. Because I think them in those colors, I'm most concerned about seeing <sighs> um, Blood Researcher or the like come down. Okay, sure. Okay, another one of those, yep. Okay. We are going to hold the star people back, but we're going to push in with <clears throat> our two in the air and the lore hold pledge mage. Opponent does not want to block. Okay. I will be trading pupil off here to give a third power. Go ahead and exile that. Take away their ability to learn, take away their ability to consistently gain life. We are getting kind of stonewalled here with the life gain deck. We need some removal spells of our own. Um. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Put in our flyer. Bail from mastery. Okay. We can't race, so there's no sense in attacking there. That feels bad. We're going to trade off of that. Rip apart is going to deal three damage, and then we still lose, huh? Well, all right. Good game, opponent. So there, the life hand just got us. We were aggressive. We were making our way. Um, just couldn't couldn't take the edge there. So maybe I should have exiled their leech fanatic earlier. That could have been the misplay on my part. That's unfortunate. But oh, and one here. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into game two. Huh. That's the only thing I can think to do differently. Exile their leech fanatic earlier. I'm still not sure what we got there. What, we had them down to 8 life? Was that the lowest point? Um, we might even try to be too aggressive to them. I don't know about that. Uh, 
Um, I think I want to do first year here. Because I can symbology, and then I have big spell up, which is pretty good. What are we going to learn? Three, 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 and three. Um, let's take the flyer again, I think. Little answer. And we'll pass. Twin scroll, sure. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think we just lead on this. And we'll just attack in with the eager first year. Expel should do nice work against the Twin Skull Shaman, especially if they go all out on it. They did not. Okay. Go ahead and attack him for two. If the opponent does attack him, Twin Scroll will probably just take it. That's unfortunate. Impulsive, okay. Draw three, discard a land, okay. Plays land. No attack still. My spell is not doing a whole heck of a lot here. Pledge Mage lines up nicely against Shaman. We're gonna go ahead and get in for one. Okay. <clears throat> it seems like the opponent's building up to something. If we can get another land, Rise will do an incredible amount of work. Um, yep. Three, three, flyer. That would be great to get on top land here. That works. Should do just fine, thank you. Opponent have a removal spell? Then we will attack with all three. Point take six. Block the clutch mage, all right? You have power pump. Oh. Well, that sucks. Okay. Deals one damage to any target, okay? So I think that's probably going to aim at Lumomancer. They don't like having it on the field. Yep. Mm-hmm. Frost Trickster to keep my flyer down. Hmm. Start people seems okay. Um, 
Yeah, we're not going to get anything flying at the moment. We'll pass. Twin Skull can definitely do work if they have anything that pumps it. And then Frost Trickster can do work because it's a flyer. Let's see what the opponent has here. Hopefully we can we can stabilize. I don't think we've, we've ever really been in the lead here, which is unfortunate for the amount of spells we've cast. Aerialist, yep. Pledge Mage, shirt. Opponent. Considering getting in. Okay. Interesting. I'm not sure why they didn't get in, just that they didn't. Um, you are sorcery speed. So I think. the card we want to get rid of most. There's some bad ones. We get rid of you and we will eat I guess berry. Then we will go and learn I suppose expand anatomy. We will not be attacking at this time. Pass. Then we will take a reduced memory, since so good. Put two one one counters on Stone Rice Spirit, or at least we'll try to. We'll see if the opponent has um, something for it. Tack in. Yes. We'll untap the professor, make it a 3 2. Um, illustrious Historian coming back, it's going to enter tapped. Alright, they're trading the Pledge Mage for a Professor. I am okay with that trade. Hmm. First day class, sure. And prophecy, interesting. I would think if you want first day class, you would want, um, you would want the elementals or something. Puts one to the top, one to the bottom, draws and plays another aerialist. Okay. And it gets the one-one counter. That's fine. I am pretty happy to do this. Resolve the ward ability. We'll pay it. Exile that. Give them a three-two. And then we're going to attack with Spirit. Great. If we continue to do this, we can, we'll really start bashing in on the opponent pretty hard. Okay. Um... We're going to cast Thrill. We're going to pitch Expel. And 
we're going to attack them with both here. We're going to untap Star Pupil, make it a 2 2. And let the opponent make their blocks. Yep. We will show up confidence. Put it on the pupil. Put it on the pupil. Let's make it a 4 4 here. Conspiracy theory seems good. Great. Sparring Regimen is a nutty card. Very, very good card. Teach by example. Uh-oh. Four, five, six, seven. Are they going to get a couple of four fours? That's what it looks like. Already have a removal spell. Heated debate. All right, you're going to kill the spirit. That sucks. Very good play, opponent. Opponent going to get in for three. They are. It's pretty ballsy. Um. We're going to type with both. We're going to grow the star pupil. We will auto pay the one. Great. Opponent can kill the star pupil if they want. They have to double block it, and then all of its counters go on the conspiracy theorist. Are they going to spread their blocks? Kill the conspiracy theorist. Yep. Okay. Um, no reason to keep the mountain now that they kill this theorist. The theorist. Empty handed, 5 5 on the field. What do you have, opponent? Okay. We're going to go ahead and play another star pupil here. Attack in with a 6 6. Yep. That stops me from attacking you with the... I guess it doesn't. I'll still attack in. Oh, that really helps me attack in. If they block it, then I put the counters onto the combat professor. Continue to keep up relevant threats. Two lethal threats on board, opponent. We could gain germ free. All right. That game went a little bit better for us. Sparring Regimen did its work. That puts us at one and one here. Woo! That was a long game, too, it felt. But good games. Good games. Let's go ahead and jump into game three. Yeah. It, it kind of felt like we, we plateaued there, but the Sparring Regiment single-handedly brought us back into that game and gave it to us. So that's a very powerful card. I think that and Blade Historian are the... We need one of those cards to really go off. And so happy that we drew that game. Let's see what we can put together here for game three. Taking a while to find this opponent. Excuse me.
clinker. Good luck and have fun, my friend. We are keeping this hand, and we are going to be begging for some lower, lower curve creatures. Um, yeah, we lead on planes. We don't want to be stuck behind the curve. Worst case scenario is turn two, we throw away campus, and then we draw into something else. Feels awkward, but we can't we can't hold on to things that aren't gonna get us that blade historian, because hopefully we win on turn four. That's our that's our goal, that's what we're pushing for. Plain star pupil. Go. Swamp. Mm-hmm. Don't lash me, bro. Oh man. All right, well, there is a possibility. Gross. We'll play campus now. Force for the opponent. Passes through. Show confidence for us, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and attack. Get in for one again. My opponent knows it's coming. It'll turn into two damage, which still isn't that scary. Um, what do we draw? Come on, spells. Oh my gosh, please, spells. I have to cast it. They know it's there anyway, so... We did not win on turn four. That is true. And here, I imagine land Mage Hunter's Onslaught. Oh, well, that's beneficial. But it could be flunked still. Flunk it is. Bummer. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and get in for one. We'll be scrying on the opponent's instep. We have more lands than we would ever need. Pledge Mage, yep. Go ahead and scry here. No. No, 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 no. Okay. Sparring Regimen, okay. That's nice and all, but... Still on three. Um, yeah, we'll take anatomy here. But we're just going to pass. It's not worth casting anatomy here because it's just going to be. A four power creature running into a five five wall. Damagoth, that's also not great for us. Yep. Yep. Hmm. Unfortunate. So I, I can kill Damagoth, potentially. I don't think that's what we want to do here. But I think symbology seems good. And we will take the reduced memory. We'll go ahead and reduce the pledge mage, forcing them to get rid of the woe eater on their turn. Happy to throw away a mountain on our part. They have plum. It's out. Oh, that sucks. That's right. They get a 3-2 out of the deal. We'll still hold them to the mountain, because I don't want to get rid of it if they choose to get rid of Demogoth. Just sack a creature. It doesn't have to be non-token. 
All right, I got rid of it anyway. Sweet. All right. Okay. That's a bit worse for us. We're not going to block that. Hmm. What do we get? Ten the pests. Interesting. Okay. I don't like that either. We'll play the comic professor and we'll just give it to himself. Don't intend to attack in. I think I'll still trade the star people with one of the one ones. That's fine. Um, they have removal for the combat professor here. They do. Excess and reduce, okay. Oh, professor and reduce. What are you going to learn, opponent? Pest on me. Okay. Um, huh. I need to block here. Puts me to three. That is dirty and nasty and unfun. We are going to anatomy onto our symbology. We're going to go ahead and get in there for six. And our turn. We're going to tap the 3-2 and one of the pests. I think we still lose. I don't think there's anything we can do. Double Damagoth and Tin the Pest. They got the meme. Ugh. All right, well. Good game, opponent. We were really kind of flooded there. That was unfortunate that it happened to us. But we had four lands to start with. We had the 4-4. Four, four. Felt really good. but Or the four mana card. But two and one here. One and two. Sorry. Got to get it right. One and two. Uh, let's move into game four. Hopefully we can start getting some wins. I'm, I'm not wanting to end this, this draft so early. Okay. Game four. One and two. Not going to lie. I thought we'd do a little bit better. But not, not having effective ways to draw into what we want is pretty tough. This is really, really strong. We'd love to draw a red source for turn three, I think. But turn one, people turn, or turn two, actually, is when I'd like the red source. For some reason, I think Spartan Richmond was a two drop. It's a three drop. Opponents on island. Needlethorn, shirt. Sure. Uh, we don't need to attack. Opponent might bite us here. Nope. 3-2, that's fine. Yep. Okay. I think we regimen. And pass. Um... Yeah, we'll take an enemy. I don't know if we'll play it. I don't really want to attack in at the moment. We can rip apart the Drake. It's not a not a major issue. Golden ratio, yeah. Gets in for four. Yep. No blocks. Okay. Let's start by dealing three to the Drake. 
little symbology. Um, we'll take reduce, go ahead and get the removal spell in hand. Get in for two here. All right. Five minutes for the opponent. Biomathematician, sure. Double major, double biomathematician, okay. That's significant. Getting in for two, we'll pass on that. Um, yeah, I think we're going to put all the counters here on the star people. And we'll attack in as a 4-4, four, four. bump it to a 5-5, five, five. see if the opponent gives me two creatures to kill. They do not, okay? And we will follow up with a Conspiracy Theorist. Red Source would be nice. Interesting. I don't know what the opponent is going to do here, but I don't like it. Block like this, see what happens. I imagine I'm just gonna try to bounce the star pupil. That's what it feels like to me. Big play. Okay, they're going to keep it alive. Interesting. Still would like that red spell. That red land. We will go ahead. I guess we don't need to do that right now. We're just going to get in for six here. We'll eat the 4-3. Certainly not the best card that they could have, but if we had that second red source, we could end up getting Asari down, which would be would have been really nice. Campus for the opponent. Second star pupil. Yep. Combat professor. All right, use the man to kill it off. I think it's worth attacking, attacking all here. No matter what they block, they end up losing. We're going to bring back the star pupil. We don't have the one to pay, so that's not a big deal. Opponent. Trading off their, their copy for the conspiracy theorists, that's fine. Puts them to two. One red source, I win the game. Expel. That's not a red source. Huh. Go attacks. Get them at both. We're gonna untap the one one here. Gotta block both. Yep. 
Okay. Oh, they got the bounce spell. Sure. Okay. Feels like something didn't connect there the way it should have. But good game, did little Azorus. Um, great. Two and two. That game went a lot better for us. Sparring Regiment, apparently, is a better card than Blade Historian in most matchups. But good games. That was fun. All right. Game five. This is for at least breaking even, which would be nice. I like breaking even at a minimum. I like winning also. Um, we've had a few drafts since we've actually seen, seen ourselves win. I really like this hand. Cheap stuff. Three mana moving into the Blade Historian seems really strong. We also got the Lorehold Pledge Mage for turn three. That's great. Blue black. Okay. A little late on the Star Pupil. Would have been nice earlier. Um, we're going to take Reduce here. Next turn, if I draw a land, I think I go Stone Rise and Star. Did not draw a land, so do I still do that or no? What's the highest upside play? I think the first play is a type for two. Then I still think we do it. And we, we really hope for a red source. Red source will put us so far ahead. Okay. That's sweet. Put 10 damage on the opponent. Your turn, OP. All right, good game. Sweet special, special ops 51. Good game, friend. All right, three and two. That was fast. That's what I was hoping these games would look like. Two minute games. Uh, <laughs> that was awesome. So three and two here on the day. Okay, well, game six here. Um, makes me happy. That That's the kind of game I wanted to see. Less than two minutes. In and out, move on. That was good. It felt a little bit like a Boros deck, right? Not necessarily a lore hold deck, but Blade Historian is a classically Boros hold card, and it was it's a very good card. Um, uh, well, we have two incredible bombs here. I'm hoping that we can join the lands. Um, that's not a land. Probably not worth playing this out quite yet, but we'll see what happens. Well, okay, that's still not a land, but it's fine. Quandrix Pledge Mage, sure. Still not a land. That's going to be bad for me. I need to land this next turn. Land, 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 land. Yep, don't care about that. Give me land. Sweet. It's a little late, but um, it'll have to do. Eat Pledge Mage. All right, we're going to go ahead and get in for two here. Nice thing is that Zomancy was much worse there. You only got a 4 3, you didn't get the 1 1 to go along with it. Mage Hunter, okay. Nope, not gonna block. Sparring Regiman here could take over the game. Would still like to see lands. Oh, that kind of sucks. Well, he says oops, but I'm not that hurt by it. I still get to do the one ones every every turn. I could take seven here. And that's going to be whatever it is. Star Pupil here doesn't work. If I play Star Pupil, I end up just killing it, and that's not going to be beneficial for me at all. 
Strict Proctor is a weird card to build around, in my opinion. I like ETB so much. Blood Researcher, okay. Well, that is a land. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attack just here. Untap it. We'll also play Pledge Mage. See what the opponent wants to do. Another red source would be great. I think if I got another red source, I'd Pigment Storm first. OP? They're thinking. They've got a lot of lands, so they've flooded out a bit here. That could be benefiting us. Place another land. Ouch. Oh, but the Leyland Invocation will be helpful to them for sure. That's not the land I wanted. Um, four, five, six. Seven. Okay. Yeah. I have to do it this way. Can't afford to potentially lose. But next turn, we should win. If I can stay alive with my two flyers and pledge mage, I will win. That's a problem. Getting in for eight. Yep. We are just going to take the eight, I think. Need a red source. One red source wins the game. One red source wins the game. Okay. I think that does it. Four, five, six, seven. Lots just happened there, but we're going to go ahead and get in with our two flyers. We'll be untapping our 4-6. Wow. Good game, Kira. That was close. 4-2 and two here. Um, starting to get our Ws. Aggression does work in the, in the game, so that was that was good. The opponent definitely had beefier creatures, but we were they weren't quite able to stabilize. So sweet, 4 and 2. Let's get to game 7, shall we? That was fun. And I, I love these drafts. Strixhaven is probably one of my favorite formats of Magic that I've ever, ever played. It's a good time to be a Magic player, in my opinion. Even with all the stuff that people are upset about with Wizards, this set, it rocks. We'll go ahead and keep this. Um, it's a very strong hand. Would like to go 2-3-4. But we do have a couple of removal spells if need be. Um, she's not a problem at the moment. I'm not a big fan, but certainly not a problem. We'll go ahead and get our two drop down. Pledge Mage. That's a problem. We're going to kill that. Um. Go ahead and rip it apart. We'll get in for three. Great. Pop 
opponent tanking. Discard two cards. Oh, well, this is gonna be awkward, but I'm gonna get rid of the planes. It's fine. It's not the best thing in the world. I'm not happy about it. Um, I am pretty happy about that, however. Land there was pretty great. Get in for two. Hopefully I don't have another go blank. A second go blank would rock me. Gnarl Professor, sure. Yep. Hmm. I think we do this because this could end up making the opponent attack in next turn, which would be pretty fine for me. I'll take the expand anatomy just to to tempt them. Okay. Hunt for specimens, yep. Confront the past. Sweet. All right, OP. Pretty happy with that play. They've still got Barry in books, I think. Mm-hmm. Okay. Divide by zero. What's opponent doing? Hmm. I don't know what they're looking at. All right. They chose not to block. They're down to five. They know I've got play story in hand. I do have heated debate as well. So if they hold something back, I might just kill it and go in for six. Oh yes, please. Okay. Agonizing remorse. You've got a lot of things that you don't want to see, friend. What's the worst? Opponent sees they're dead one way or the other. Potentially. They might not, but certainly doesn't look good for them. We're gonna have to look real close this next turn because I think we could have lethal, depending on what opponent plays here. All right, they take the combat professor. They leave the historian. The Serpentine Curve. Okay. How can I get... Four points of damage in. Easy to get three. I 
I think we pledge mage here. We don't have lethal. We're not going to attack him. So the reason we do this is that our pledge mages can double block the professor and kill it. Our eager first year can chump the 6-6, six, six, and then we would take 3 from the trample damage and the pest and Simone. That's the best case scenario for us. It looks like they also going to attempt to make my Pledge Mage into a 1-1, one, one, which is less great. Um, much less great. Symmetrist. Okay. That's going to give everything trample, which I think kills me. Fairly certainly. Turning the pest into a 4 4. Okay. Okay. It's 15 damage. I can block 6 of it. Puts me at 9. Yep. All right. Good game, opponent. Man, we were close. That was a good game. Symmetrous really came through for them there in the end. We were both having to think pretty hard about what would work and what wouldn't. In the end, the opponent just had the power and the toughness to get over me. So, good games. That puts us at 4 and 3 here on the day with our... This says Jeskai. Guy. It was really uh, a Boros deck. Um by and large we had some good some good lessons um we had good learn targets too we had two study breaks we had the the professor symbology sparring regimen incredible card um i think that won us more games than anything blade historian this was the deck for it and it didn't shine so greatly um it did get us one win, like the perfect storm and things did happen once. But it wasn't as good as what you thought it would be. I'm a bit disappointed with it. It underperformed, whereas Sparring Regiment overperformed, by and large. We only ran one Rise of Exodus. We had two in deck. Um, we put one in the sideboard just because six mana felt a little high on our... Um, a little high on our count. I think it was the right choice. I wish we would have had another heated debate or... Um, some uh, the other rip apart we saw another rip apart that would have been really great i probably would have played that rather than rise because it would have done some work but overall i'm really happy with this deck cards we didn't ever see were god's willing that could have been pretty helpful to us um it's a blowout to the opponent we never got to play in Asari, even though we had it in deck um never got the chance strict proctor uh it did work it worked against us too kept us from playing, playing a star pupil kept us from learning off the sparring regimen but um, it did frustrate the opponents, so that was good. Show of Confidence still is, a, is an overperforming card. More of those in this deck would have been really, really solid. Um, Conspiracy Theorist uh, is okay. Two mana, two, two that will rummage when you attack. It's fine. You're, you're not getting that much value off of it, though. I can guarantee you that. Pledge Ranges were really good. Heated Debate is always good. The Expel is less good. Um, of course, no one ever is too excited about Expel, and you kind of saw why in our game. Vigilance creatures, or um, if you're playing against Spartan Regimen, like, you you have a really hard time actually expelling the targets that you want to expel. And so, if they're holding back for blocks, you just can't really get on. P Comic Professor is really good. Opponents never let that stick, because they know how good it is. Overall, Great deck, really fun. I hope you enjoyed these gameplay, this gameplay video because I enjoyed playing it. And if you did enjoy it, why don't you go ahead and hit that like button down below, subscribe, come back for some more, um, and also check out some of our other videos. I just posted a, a random buy um, on Wednesday. Go ahead and watch that. We're doing a giveaway over, the, over two videos. And so go ahead and watch that. Um, do the different things that I asked you to do in there so you can get entered into a drawing to get a free card. But... Overall, uh, thanks everyone, we appreciate it, and we will see you for the next draft.